Hi, this is Megan with Echo 3D, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the Echo 3D console. Before we begin, just a little background of what Echo 3D is. Echo 3D is a cloud-based 3D digital asset management platform that enables enterprises and developers to easily manage, update, and stream their 3D content to 3D, AR, VR, and spatial computing apps, games, and experiences. Our platform offers a 3D-first CMS and CDN, 3D asset optimization tools, and a scalable backend as a service infrastructure to help companies build lighter and faster 3D apps. We enable you to store, secure, stream, and share your 3D assets across your organization on multiple devices anywhere using Echo 3D. So now let's start this demo. When you register, you'll automatically get an API key, which is a repository for all of your 3D content. You'll have a parent project, and then if you click the plus button, you'll be able to add on child projects. We are a Unity verified solution, so you'll find our Unity SDK right here, as well as a few others like Unreal Engine, Java Swift Flutter, and you can also check out some example codes on this tab as well. When you need to upload a model to the cloud, you can come to our content page and click on the plus button. Here, you'll be able to upload your file or choose from our many free assets in our asset library. When your asset is uploaded, it will populate a few options on the card. You can download your asset, delete it from the console, share it, add it to a folder, or view it in augmented reality instantly by scanning one of three QR codes. Then if you double click on the card, you will also see a detailed view with some tools that I'll dive deeper into right now. On our data tab, we have a global database that contains data entries that can be applied at a project level or to all content entries in your project. Then below we have metadata, which is a set of data entries associated with a single content entry. As you can see, we have a number of metadata classes out of the box that you can choose from, or you can create your own custom metadata to tag models, create custom behaviors, or have them interact with scripts. And if you want to see how you can use this data page with our Unity SDK, I'll link that tutorial down below. On our WebAR customizer, you can personalize WebAR experiences by adding buttons, audio, backgrounds, and different actions like redirecting to a URL or prompting a message. Then on our model editor page, this is just a super easy way to make quick edits to your assets. All you need to do is click the asset you want to edit down below. Then you can edit things like lighting, add hotspots, you can swap textures and change emissive and occlusion maps, and change out base colors. Next, we have our access tab. On this tab, you can set permissions for users and viewers. All new projects will be set to closed, which means that users and viewers you add to your project will need to request access if they want to download or edit an asset in your project. The user only button allows users to download or edit, but viewers will still need to request access. And the open button means all assets in your shared project are available to download or edit and no requests are needed. All requests will show up on this request tab and you'll be able to accept or reject it. You can also add a note if you wish to reject the request. Now moving on to our deliver pages. On our content page, you can see the distribution of your assets that have a location target. So as you can see, I currently have two assets tagged and tagging your assets can be done on the content page when you double click the card to see the detailed view. You'll also be able to view user distribution and the analytics around which locations are accessing your 3D assets the most. Then you also have project insights. So this page helps you keep track of your credit usage for API calls, storage, and bandwidth. And you can also view usage history and project history. Additionally, we also have version control so that you can revert to older versions of your asset. And this again can be accessed on the contact page by double clicking the card to see the detailed view. Now coming over to our optimization tools, we have our convert and compress page. The console supports all major file formats for 3D assets, videos, 2D images, and animations, and it will automatically populate a few formats for you to use if you need to make those conversions. 
Then if you need to optimize your assets, our Echo 3D Ultimate Compression is 10 times better than the open source Draco compression, and it allows you to compress your 3D files for low latency 3D data streaming without compromising any quality. Then if you don't want to use our compression tools, you can always just come in and poly reduce your assets by clicking the decrease arrow. If you're looking to learn some tips and tricks, we are constantly filming tutorials and you can find them on this page or check out some sample codes on GitHub. We also have a link to our full documentation and our Slack channel here. Finally, we have our settings tab. Here you can manage your subscription and check your monthly limits. You can also add users to your projects on the security tab by clicking the plus button to enter their email and then selecting their access level. You'll also be able to edit your profile here if you need to make changes. I hope you enjoyed this demo video. Be sure to sign up and start your seven day free trial today.